Diesel's enjoying his morning. He's so cute. He lays right there in the gravel because it's cold out and you can see he's looking to the right. He's watching the road. So I'm excited that our yard doesn't have snow anymore. So that's a huge win. So here's my breakfast for this morning. So what I did is I went ahead and toasted up one of these Western Bagel Perfect 10 Plus. This is in the everything. These bagels are so good. They are loaded with all the good everything seasonings. And Western Bagels are amazing. If you guys have not ordered these yet, head on over to Western Bagel. Check them out. Bagels are still in your eating plan, my friends. This is a full-size bagel, and it is three smart points. Western Bagel has baglets for one point. Most of their full-size bagels are three points. They do have a perfect 10 plus healthy grain, so not the everything, but the healthy grain. It is two smart points. So this entire full-size bagel, you guys, is three smart points so i love western bagel make sure that you're ordering the alternative bagels they do have some build your own boxes and they give you free shipping with 25 dollars so highly recommend having these you'll see me eat these a lot when you get them just toss them in your freezer and they last months and months and months so i have one of the western bagel everything bagel toasted i do have 10 percent off for western bagel so i'll put that here on the screen and the link is down in the description box so I went ahead and added two smart points worth of avocado. And then what I have here is one full egg and some egg whites and one slice of the Sargento ultra thin Colby Jack cheese for one smart point. And then a banana is going to be my fruit with breakfast. So my bagel is three points. My avocado is two smart points. So that's five. My cheese is one making six and then one egg is two smart points. The egg whites are zero. So this is going to be an eight smart point breakfast. And you guys, this is full of protein and healthy fat. And of course my favorite bagels. So I wanted to show you guys my bath and body works haul. I went to get some more wallflower refills. And of course, Per the usual at Bath and Body Works, found a few other things. So let me show you what I picked up. So first, I love this. This is from White Barn. This is a three wick holder. You guys know I love their three wick candles. I burn them all the time. I just love the pattern on this, this white kind of ornate floral pattern. This is gonna look gorgeous in my kitchen. So I went ahead and picked it up. It was $14.50. And then also I grabbed a new soap holder because the one that I have is actually, here I'll show you. So the one that I have is actually the one that holds the kind of bead soap, which is fine, but I wanted the one that actually holds the pump foam soap because I like that better. This was $12.50 and I love this like kind of gray marble and then this kind of like branchy design and you can see my countertop so it's going to match really well with that. And then they had some of their candles half off from Christmas. This is Twisted Peppermint. I'm obsessed with this one. This one smells so good. It's peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, fresh balsam, which is like my favorite scent, and a hint of musk with essential oils. I just really like this smell, and it was $12.25, so it was half off. And then I had a coupon for a free wallflower plug or refill, so I went ahead and grabbed this wallflower plug. It's kind of a taupe color. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, but it was free. And then for the refills, I went ahead and got an array here. I did get Into the Night. This one smells really good. It doesn't even say what the notes are on here, I don't think, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, there we go. So it's sugared raspberry, velvet, rose petals, and shimmering amber. It smells really good. And then I grabbed Cucumber Lily, and that one is probably a little more self-explanatory. But it is Mimosa Blossom Cucumber Water and Lily of the Valley. And then I went ahead and picked up a Thousand Wishes. This one smells really good. So this one is Sparkling Champagne, Crystal Peonies, and Almond Cream. And then I have the White Sand Beaches. I'm getting, you guys, I'm ready for spring and summer. So tis the season. I grabbed Deep Blue Waters Co Coastal Tide Flowers and Sea Salted Lavender. So that one, and then also I have Champagne Toast. This smells really, really delicious. So this is Bubbly Champagne, Sparkling 
something I can't read it and juicy tangerine and then lastly I have the island papaya oh my gosh this one is yummy so this is tropical coconut fresh papaya and sugar cane so I grabbed six refills and then I went ahead and grabbed some soaps and don't judge me but when I buy soaps I buy them to aesthetically match my kitchen so I either want a white gray or black top I know but the flavors that I picked up are vanilla coconut Honolulu Sun, white tea and sage, sunshine and lemons. That smells amazing in the kitchen. Coconut, vanilla, and sun washed citrus all match nicely with my kitchen. And then I had a coupon for a $6 body cream. So I got this Daydream. This is apparently their brand new line or one of their brand new scents is this Daydream. And it says the keynotes of this one are fresh raspberry, sparkling pear, and pink lily petals. It smells really good. And then I also had a 20% off coupon. So all of this was just over $80. So not bad, Bath & Body Works. It's morning snack time, and as always, I'm going to be having a Built Bar. This is the uh, Coconut Almond. I love this one. I always say, if you are a fan of Almond Joys, you will love the Coconut Almond because it legit tastes like an Almond Joy. There are real chunks of almonds, real flakes of coconut. Absolutely delicious if you are an Almond Joy fan. Here is your nutritional information for these bars. They have 18 grams of protein, 7 fiber, and 5 fat. So this is one of the bars that I find keeps me the fullest. This and the peanut butter, any nut-based bar, the banana nut bread that came out, all of those keep me nice and full just because they are nut-based. So they have a little bit more fat and protein. So love this one though, it's delicious. It's three Smart Points. Built Bar is amazing. They also have Built Boost, which is what I use as a pre-workout. If you are new to Built Bar, head on over to their website. Use my code here on the screen. You'll get 10% off and free shipping, but they have dozens of different flavors of Built Bar. If you would like my personal suggestions, leave that in the comments and I'll let you know what my favorites are. But hands down, this coconut almond is definitely one of those. And for three smart points, you guys, this tastes like a candy bar. It is nowhere near a protein bar. It is a candy bar. So I have it every morning for between breakfast and lunch because it keeps me nice and full. So it's kind of my morning snack. So I'm going to be having that. For three smart points, check it out. Use my link down below or my code here on the screen for the 10% off and free shipping. And then I'm having some water. I've been loving my Pioneer Woman bottle here or water jug. I've uh, been putting some of those Meyer lemons in there with some water and I've been drinking five to 10 of these a day, you guys. I am getting in a ton of water. So this is just going to be my morning snack, some water for zero and my coconut almond bill bar for three. We can see grass. Guess what? That's where Diesel was laying. That is hilarious. So the gra grass is completely frozen and frosted over, but where his warm belly was, you can see his imprints. Cracks me up. Hi, princess. Do you like mommy and daddy's new bed? Yeah, we got a new bed and you love it, huh? Yeah, you cozy, baby. I love you. So here's my lunch for today. I'm excited, I'm hungry, it's a little afternoon. So I went ahead and made myself a wrap. And so I have one of the tomato basil Olay wraps and I put one tablespoon of light mayonnaise, one smart point worth of avocado. I have some of that cherry wood smoked ham that I picked up at Fred Meyer and then some spinach and rolled it all up and made a delicious wrap. So it is one smart point for the Olay wrap, one for the mayo, one for the avocado and two for the ham. So this is a five smart point wrap. And then I'm gonna have it with one of these Quaker rice cakes and buttermilk ranch. These are really good. I got these at Costco and this is three smart points. And then I'm excited for dessert. I'm gonna have a honey crisp apple because I love honey crisp apples. They're sweet, kind of cures my sweet tooth and my fruit. So this is going to be my lunch and it is a total of seven smart points. I'm gonna go ahead and have a cup of coffee in my Valentine's Day mug. I'm in the spirit for Valentine's Day. So I have some of the Bones Coffee and Oh Fudge. There is a link in my description box for Bones. It is not an affiliate link, but it will get you $5 off if you're interested in trying their coffee. This is a fudgy chocolate, it's really delicious. And then I just put in one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero points. And I've got my water back there. This is my second one and I just pulled up my laptop so that I can get editing a video. So I'm gonna edit a little bit, enjoy my cup of coffee and get back to my day. 
So I'm going to have two of my jam bars that I made in my meal prep that was posted the, this last Monday. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. These are absolutely delicious. They're two points a piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and have two of them for a four smart point snack. For tonight's easy slow cooker or crock pot recipe, we're gonna be making chicken and dumplings. I am so excited about this and how fun that it can just be thrown in a crock pot. You come home from a busy day of work or school or home from the gym at night and your dinner is ready to go. It is WW friendly and delicious. So I am excited about this. So let me show you what is in our recipe and then we'll get it going in our crock pot. First, you're going to need some non-fat milk or milk alternative. You can use almond milk. I just use this Kroger Carb Master Milk. It's the same points as almond milk, and it's literally just milk instead of the almond base. So I'm going to be using that. Minced garlic. The recipe calls for whole wheat flour, so I'm just going to use whole grain oat flour. It's what I have on hand. Also, the recipe calls for frozen peas and frozen carrots. So I just bought a blend, saved myself some money, and the peas and carrots are all rolled into one package. So this is a little dupe for this recipe just by the peas and carrots blend already. And then lots of seasonings. We have garlic powder, onion powder, basil, and thyme. The recipe also calls for sage, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna be omitting that. You'll also need some baking powder. I can't believe it's not butter light. And the recipe calls for six cups of chicken broth. I'm just gonna make mine with the better than bouillon. This is what I have on hand, so I didn't wanna buy chicken broth when I have this already in my refrigerator, so I'm going to make my own. And then you'll need an onion, some stalks of celery, and some chicken breasts. So let's get started on tonight's crock pot dinner. So the first thing we need to do is chop our onion and our celery. I'm just gonna throw both of them here in a bowl because they are added to our recipe at the same time. So let's get everything chopped up and ready to go. To carry us both out of this mess. So we're ready to get started on our chicken and dumplings. So in my crock pot here, I actually have five chicken breasts. These are super thin cut and small. So I made sure that I had basically the equivalent of about two big boneless skinless chicken breasts. And then to that, we're gonna go ahead and add in six cups of chicken broth. And again, I just made mine with better than bouillon. Since again, that's what I had on hand. It made logical sense to just make my own chicken broth. So that was four cups. And then here is two additional cups. Ooh, we got some little leftover on the bottom. There we go. Two additional cups of the better than bouillon. To that, we're gonna go ahead and add in our peas and our carrots. And we want about a half of a cup of each. So I'm gonna do about a cup of the pea and carrot mixture. And then these leftovers, you guys, I just warm these up as a side dish with dinner. That way we're not wasting any of it either. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the chopped up onion and celery that we chopped up. We want about three cloves of garlic, so this is pretty close to three cloves. And then I just like to kind of give that garlic a mix just because it comes out in a big clump out of the jar. Oh my gosh, this looks really good. All right, so we've added in that garlic, and then last are our seasonings. So the first one that I'm gonna go ahead and add in is my thyme. And you guys know I just kind of wing the amount that I'm putting in here. I'm gonna do about two teaspoons of thyme. And I just use my hand. It's easy to figure out about a teaspoon worth. We're also going to be adding in some of our basil leaves. And again, I'm going to do about two teaspoons of that as well. And then again, I omitted the sage, but we're going to add in some onion powder. And I want about a half of a teaspoon of onion powder and then half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. So we're gonna add that in, and then again, we're gonna give this another stir. You don't need to add any salt because your chicken broth or better than bouillon is going to be all the salt that you need in this recipe. So we're gonna make sure those seasonings are nice and mixed together, and our chicken breasts are under the chicken broth, under all of the liquid. And then we're actually going to put this on too low for six hours. Once that time has passed, we'll come back and make the dumpling portion of our dinner. So we're ready to put together the dumplings and I realized that we should have added the garlic powder and onion powder actually to the dumplings. So you can go ahead and do that if you'd like. I added it to the actual soup itself. So I'm not going to add any additional 
garlic and onion powder to the dumplings themselves. But just be aware that you would wanna add them to the dumplings, not the soup. So what we're gonna do is add one cup of our oat flour to a bowl. And then we're also going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. And we're going to add three tablespoons of the I can't believe it's not butter light. And then we're basically going to mix this together until the butter cuts through the flour and the baking soda. And it basically makes a kind of chunky dough. And this is what we're going to use to form the dumplings. We're going to add a little bit of milk and we'll have a perfect dough. Once you've cut the butter in, we're gonna go ahead and add in some skim milk. And we wanna add just enough to make this into dough that we can form the dumpling balls. So I am not measuring my milk because I'm not gonna add any more than needed to create a dough. And I don't wanna over add in my milk. The recipe calls for about a third of a cup, but I would recommend that you just add it like I did to your dry ingredients until you have a dough. So this is about perfect consistency for the dumplings. We're ready to pop the lid off of our crock pot here and we're gonna actually pull out our chicken and shred it up. So this is what our soup is looking like. Oh, you guys are gonna get steamy, sorry. There you go. So it looks absolutely delicious. Everything looks done really well. So I have some tongs here and I'm just gonna go ahead and reach in and pull out my breasts of chicken. And I'm just going to put them here on a plate. And I'm gonna grab a couple of forks. Oh, look, it's just breaking apart. Grab a couple of forks and shred up the breasts of chicken here. And then we'll be returning it to the soup so that we can add in our dumplings. But my chicken, literally, you guys, is falling apart. How amazing is that? So pull out all your chicken and we're gonna get it shredded up. Once your chicken is completely shredded, we're gonna go ahead and return that to the slow cooker in with the soup and all of the delicious veggies, and then we'll be ready to just drop in our dumplings. Once you've re-added in your chicken, we're gonna go ahead and drop in our dumplings. So we want them at least the size of a tablespoon. You do not wanna make them too small or they will just melt right into the broth of the soup, and we do not want that. We actually want them to be dumplings when it's all done. So we're gonna go ahead and drop in our batter to make some dumplings. Once you've added back in your dumplings, we're gonna go ahead and put the lid back on our crock pot and we're gonna let this cook for an additional 20 or 30 minutes or until our dumplings are cooked all the way through. All right, so the chicken and dumplings are done. It was about 20 minutes. The dumplings are nice and firm, so that's how you kind of know that they're cooked through. So this entire crock pot, you guys, makes six servings. So I'm gonna go ahead and dish up a serving. It's approximately a cup and a half, and I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner for tonight. You guys, this smells amazing. So this is one and a half cups of the chicken and dumplings. It made two dumplings per serving. So I do have a couple of dumplings on top here. And I just topped mine with a little bit of parsley. So here are the smart points breakdown for the chicken and dumplings. One serving or one sixth of the batch is three smart points on both the blue and purple plan and five on the green plan. So you can have chicken and dumplings for three or five smart points. So here's what I'm gonna be having for dessert tonight. I'm gonna be having one of the Simple Truth light ice cream bars. This is the peanut butter chocolate chip. These are so good. I'll show you guys what they look like. They are only three smart points per ice cream bar and they are absolutely delicious. So this is going to be my dessert for tonight. Say thanks for watching our What I Eat in a Day. Thanks everybody. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell so you're notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in our next one. Bye everyone. What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he stops?